This is the new M4, Cold Gustav M4, uh, the, the latest development of the Cold Gustav weapon uh, that was introduced uh, shortly after the Second World War uh, in 1948 in Sweden as the Cold Gustav M1. Uh, that weapon weighed around 14 kilograms. Uh, since then, there's been a few developments on, on the weapon side. So in the, the mid 70s, the M2 was launched. Uh, with a reduction in weight and adapted for the export market. In the mid-80s, yet another version, the Carl Gustav M3 was launched uh, with a significant weight reduction. Um, and previously the, the weapon was made of a solid steel barrel. With the M3 we introduced a composite technology using just a steel liner for the rifling and then a composite layer to contain the pressure during firing. Uh, and uh, now with the M4, we've further reduced weight by uh, choosing other mat materials in the barrel and accessories. Uh, and now we're down to weight below seven kilograms. So it's half the weight of the original weapon. For one thing, the weapon is shorter. Now it's down to less than a meter in length. Uh, we've done a lot of uh, work on the external parts. One main feature is uh, when you put the safety on, you have an additional safety added to the firing mechanism, which means that you can walk and have the weapon loaded. And that shortens the time for the soldier to get into combat while carrying the cargo stuff. Also, we've worked on a lot of details that users have had comments on. For instance, the safety, the safety catch. On the new M4, it's a push-through safety instead of the previous flag safety we had. Uh, we've worked a lot of ergonomics on the weapon. So for instance, uh, the shoulder rest and the forward grip are now placed on a picatinny ray so that you can make much larger adjustments to make the weapon fit the individu individual soldier. There's also a shot counter, an automatic shot counter. And this counts the number of full caliber rounds fired from the weapon. Uh, and that makes uh, following up the status of the weapon much easier for the, for the user or for the customer. Um, and if we look on this side, we have a, a standard sight. And it's the same sight as for the M3. So modularity, being able to switch between uh, the different versions of weapons and ammunition is, is a key in the Carl Gustav system. So all accessories that you have for the M3 works with the M4. All ammunition for the M3 works with the M4. And also when we're developing new ammunition, that's also a point to make the new ammunition being able to fire from the old, older weapons. In addition to a standard sight, and, and, and the customers may, of course, select any optics they want. We have now the option for, for, for a backup sight. Previously, we had foldable iron sights, and, and that's also one option on the M4. But uh, we've added also a red dot sight option. One main feature in the development of the M4 is introducing an interface between an advanced sight and programmable munition. So most of all our future ammunition will have a programmable interface. And that interface is right here to the cartridge when you load the, the round. And then <coughs> there's a fire control unit that manages the communication between the round uh, and the site. And the main benefit of this is improving the ballistic solution. So the round will tell the site what's the propellant temperature, for instance, and also what type of round it is. So the gunner won't have to manually select the ballistics. Instead, uh, the site will provide him with the correct ballistics for the round loaded. It's a multi-purpose weapon system. So you have a variety of different types of rounds for different types of targets that you can choose from. Uh, and of course, not all customers will have the full portfolio, but some uh, prefer to have it as an anti-tank weapon and then we have a range of anti-tank rounds to select from. 
Uh, others see it more as a general support weapon, and then maybe they will have the high explosive, uh, smoke, illumination, etc. So there is a wide variety of ammunition to select from.